welcome. Well, it's, it's evening in Minecraft time, but if it's morning for you in real time, good morning, or good evening, and good afternoon, good night, whatever time you is while you're watching this, welcome. This is the episode number one in the new Townsend Minecraft server that me and a group of friends have done. And yeah, we're just basically just going to do the introduction. Um, let's see here. So this is going to be my base. Um, we started a server about a week ago and we were having complications so we had to restart it. And luckily our admins were kind and gracious enough to provide us with a shulker box and of stuff that we might want back so I didn't ask for many things although after I was given the stuff I realized that I had a couple of beacons that I forgot to list oh well so I'm basically just gonna be doing an introduction for the first episode just kind of show you a little bit and there's creepers and everywhere well since I'm the only one on the server I might as well sleep I can set the time um, but I'd rather just sleep Yes, this server where we have a couple of plugins, and one of the plugins is that we get to select where we want our homes. Oh, there's monsters nearby. Well, I guess time day. So, basically, setting homes, setting warps, things like that, so we can travel and teleport. But, I'm gonna see if. Um, like homes just to travel to and from real quick but for the most part I want to see how what I don't have to use so anyways my goal for to well not today but in the future is to have this whole area completely encased in a fence hello there yes die there we go. Let's uh, turn this sound a little bit. Ah, it's even a. There we go. We don't need sound that loud. All right. So I have already mapped out um, an area, and it's a pretty big one. I'm doing 250 by like circle radius, and that's what it's going to be. I've already picked my center, so it's from the center. So the first thing we're going to do is probably build a village breeder because I was, part of my thing is I was given spawn eggs because I had in the last server about like 50 villagers already for creating my town. So this is where the center is going to be. My plan is I'm going to build like a, a fountain, kind of make it the centerpiece and then have inside the fountain the water where the villagers will come up. And yeah, so that's probably going to be today's plan is to build a village breeder and get this all ready to go. I am started building on the village breeder and now I am building the fountain. I know it looks like a cobblestone tree, but that should be disappearing. I don't know why it isn't. So here is the fountain that I started. Oh, rip. Um, let's see. Hopefully I got the dimensions right. Uh, so the plan is basically it looks like a fountain. This is the centerpiece of the whole entire village. And it's going to be level where the uh, borders are going to be. So I'm thinking of having it all leveled. And then I'll still have like areas to make it look more like a realistic town. Uh, instead of just a flat town, maybe a pool of water here and there. And let's just get rid of this. Oh, the one, the one thing I do love, and sadly I didn't add any extra, was the scaffolding. Because the scaffolding is a um, scaffolding is amazing. Um, Mojang did really good on that. I think, you know, a couple years late, but 
you know. So now the object is basically the main fountain is, or this is the centerpiece fountain, and it's also where the villagers come up and also gather. So that is the ultimate plan for ultimate plan for that. There's the fountain now. So now that I had the water in, so I kind of enjoy the fountain. It kind of looks kind of nice and the main centerpiece of the entire village. So like I said, I have the plugin for uh, setting different homes, so I actually have, go to the breeder. So this is what I have so far. It's uh, near the edge of the um, village, um, the radius I have, and it's about a few blocks under, so that way, it's way out of the way because of the beds with all the new villager mechanics. So I just gotta start finishing it up. Um, the build I'm using for this is a uh, Buildscraft, um, I think, or Blendscraft, one of the two. The only added I add was a door, so I could easily just come in and stuff. And villagers don't use these doors anyways. So I just put the water in there, and then have it go straight to the phone. So let's continue with the rest of it and get all this dirt filled in. We've got some crops to pull. Let's replant that. Yeah, I agree. There. So now I'll let the farmer do the rest. And now we will put in the farmers. So we got our lucky... I only need four. This thing is super handy. And we also have an ender chest where we can summon an ender chest, which this is handy to have. So it's, I plan on filling it all with uh, shulker boxes full of stuff. But for now, I'll just keep my valuable items in there. Easy access to. Alright, so now we just... One. He should become a farmer. There we go. Two. Three and four. There we go. We now have the start of our village breeder. And yes, it is made by uh, Buildscraft TV. Uh, definitely check it out. I I did try impulses, and it just wasn't working for me. Uh, the farmer kept on claiming a bed, and so he came up with a solution. Uh, on his Hermitcraft server, and it still didn't work for me, so I ended up just having to tear it down and redo or rebuild it. And this was on the last server, so now it's now. Let's hope you don't get out. There we go. Might change that to a stone bun because I think stone bun's quicker. I can't remember which bun's quicker. If you know, let me know, and I'll definitely change that. So I'll just kind of show you where I'm thinking of it. So I'll just place that there, and then place that there, so they don't fall in. So the villager or the baby villagers fall through the trap door, thinking that they can path find. and then it's just a slow running underground uh, water tunnel, which I have little uh, wall call wall uh, pillars. Because it pops them up just so they can get into this water. So that's why it's pop. So we can get rid of that. And we go all the way down. Of course it takes a little bit. It's like something 120 blocks or so away. So this will take a while. I am not... It's not a problem at all. So. And then we just... I gotta get soul sand, and then they just fly up, get zipped up all the way, and and there we go. Then they start being in the town. And now I'm in search of soul sand, but and found one, but I was way down on the bottom, so I'm trying to make it because there was no like actual path down. And this is why I hate the Nether. Those little which I'm gonna call gas, I think. Because you can hear them, but you can't see them. 
until you hear them start shooting. Ooh, don't want to fall down there. Found some soul sand. Oh, here. He oh, nope. Don't want to fall down there. Alright, what's the best way to get... All I need is one for now. Okay, now watch out for any gas. So one, two. Get one. There we go. Alright, and now, home, home, done. Whew! That home thing is so handy. Oh, and of course it's raining. And then if it works, it does! There we go. We have now finished the village breeder. Who knows? Ooh, that ice. I just saw that. That was kind of cool. Never actually really seen lightning in Minecraft, so... I'm not sure if we have a command to change the weather or not. I... Don't know, but maybe I can add. Now, the next part of Villain Town is building the outline. Which is going to be a giant circle. The radius is 250. So, it's going to be one big circle. The issue I have with is that I want the border to be absolutely level with this. So, at 71. But there's a few areas that aren't exactly level, like... I have to go straight down here, and then it go, drops down quite a bit. Um, I want basically the middle to have like four corners, so it'd be like four different areas, like a, a north-south, a northwest. Oh, that was cool. Huh? How did fire get here? Well. I'm genuinely concerned. Yeah, I guess I haven't slept in a couple of days because now I have a phantom. Out of out of one dot thirteen, that that is honestly like terrifying to hear that sound before they swoop in. I know I have a stone sword, but I like to re. There we go. Ha! Ah, and I got a phantom membrane. I hear that they get scared by cats, so hopefully when the... Ooh. Okay, that's my little concern in case... Hmm. I'm almost tempted if that I do make this, make a glass dome. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know. That, that might be a later project. I'm just trying to get it so that way it's mob-proof, other than storms so I'd have to adjust according to it but we'll see here at the edge of the uh, city I guess we'll call it I'm calling it chaosville um, so here is where the oh, gotta get some food if I want to run here's where the outer city is I've spent quite a bit of time on it probably a good half an hour to an hour almost. Uh, I'm using a program that automatically did the pixel circle for me and I got it to the end but only got about maybe I was too off so I had to go back and redo it square by square and this is a long process this is all I have right now and yeah so this is just quick update I'm doing a lot of this off screen so you don't have to actually watch. Well I have done it I have done a total of half a circle. Nope, quarter circle. That took way too long. I kept messing up and losing track because of the program. And it being so small, I had to zoom in and walk through. Like, I had to... Oh, it was very painful, but I did it. This is one quarter. And I have three more quarters to go. And after I do this, basically this, it, it sucks because this is technically where the middle is, but it's actually off to the side by one. By one. 
totally unfair. Yes, totally unfair. Because it's not equal. And that's going to bug me once I know. But it will have to do. So, with that, I think we're going to end today's episode. Uh, this will be episode number one of Townsend Minecraft server. Right now, I'm the only one on. It's kind of nice because then I can sleep and not or change the day and all that and not have to worry about anybody. So, with that in mind, take care, have a wonderful time, and we'll see you on the next episode. Uh, if you want to get more information, just like the video, subscribe, comment, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, be taking your input on views for how I can prove my town. And give me some suggestions. I would love to hear about that. All right, take care and have a wonderful day.